YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today is Monday, we are here at the house. Matt is here getting some editing done. Uh, got something new to show you guys. Uh, I actually just made this, took some photos of it, but came across some cool looking, uh, I guess skull candy is what they call the fabric. But uh, our buddy sent us over some of uh, his uh, Toomey Society stickers and it kind of, made me think that they kind of matched up. Different type of skull, but still both super cool designs. Um, you know, Halloween, everything going on. Something we might offer, something we might not. It just depends. Uh, I'm getting a few questions about the laser beam stuff over here. Uh, a lot of people asking, hey, is that gonna be on the website? Um, it's all up to you guys. If the demand is there, then yeah, we put it on the site. So if you guys want that, let me know down below in the comments, uh, whether you like the sugar schools, laser beams, or we should do both. Um, but yeah, if you guys want it, we will add it. Uh, what else we have going on? Um, Friday. Uh, so Friday last week, uh, Eric, Matt, and I headed out to one of our shooting spots. If you follow us on Instagram, we kind of did a live from there. But uh, Matt kind of got some, uh, that was probably your what? That was your first time doing like long range AR-15 yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, first time, brand new for me. So you know what? Let's actually, let's, let's get that set up out. All right, so I have my American Defense 18 inch uh, SPR that they built me. And we actually, like I said, went out over the weekend on Friday night and got some time uh, downrange with it. And, oh, was this the spare battery? That's where it was. This whole time it was in the bag. Nice, I did have one. Okay, anyway, don't you love when you like find stuff? Like when you find like a $20 bill in your pocket you didn't know you had. Uh, anyway, this is a the uh, Pulsar um, Digex N450, kind of a long name. But long story short, it's a digital night vision scope. And honestly, like I've heard good and bad about the scopes and then I just finally decided to try it out for myself. So talked with the company, reached out. That's where the other battery was in here. Okay, makes sense now. So the battery was for the IR Illuminator. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, I was looking for this battery the whole time we were going out and it was in here this whole time. So, uh, but this is a digital night vision scope and we actually were able to hit out to like 270 yards. We kind of just ran, we placed targets, had to range fine and then climbed up a mountain and just kind of like had fun. We did it with both this and a mod light IR head, the 850. And we also set it up with my um, primary arms, two and a half to 10 with an OKW from mod light. And with both scopes, both setups, uh, we were able to hit all the way out to 275, which we should. I mean, 275 isn't really a crazy long distance, especially when you're talking an 18 inch SPR. Um, this weekend, I'm probably gonna go out on Saturday. Uh, we've hit out to 600 in the initial video that we did for this, uh, John and I, when we went out. But uh, on top of that, I think John and I are gonna try to hit like 800, 1,000 this weekend using some 77 grain. Um, but ammo's kind of like very expensive and hard to find when I'm trying to like, find match grade ammo. Like the next match John and I are shooting, I just paid $700 for 600 rounds of 77 grain. So it's pricey, so we kind of save that stuff for our matches. Um, but when we went out Friday, we were shooting 55 grain, just standard uh, federal 5.56 ammo, and we were hitting out 265 consistently, no problem. Uh, Matt will roll in some of the B-roll here from the scope um, and and us shooting, just to kind of give you guys a little preview before the review comes out. But uh, what's cool about this scope is that since it's digital, it records internally. So you're able to record your entire like feel like what you're seeing, your first person field of view uh, through this scope. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, it's all digitally controlled. So essentially you're just, it's a scope, it's a camera. Um, but it is night vision. So we use reflective paint and like night sticks, glow sticks, stuff like that at our targets at certain distances. And when you see the full review video, you get what we're saying, like, like you see nothing. Um, human, like the naked eye without any type of like flashlight, uh, IR devices, night vision, anything like that, it's just pitch black out there. And like Matt will tell you, like when he got to shoot it, here, I'll, I'll question you now, let me see this. Right. When you got to shoot it, like you kind of thought with the scope, like, ah, it's gonna be whatever, but then here, get in the light. <clears throat> but then when you shot, what did you think? I, I, I was like, there's just no way like this is possible. Because when you look at like above it, you're like, wow, it's gonna be in, like impossible to hit. And then once you look at like through the scope, you're like, yeah, this is actually much, much easier than I thought it would be just from all that help. And then like how crazy was it like, when you look through the scope but then you like raised your head above the scope to see where the target was. And it's just like the abyss. It's just pitch black out there. Yeah, it, it was mind blowing. It was one of those things like, especially since I've never done it before, you just look through it like, oh, I can hit this target. And then Roger's like, hey, look over it to see it, give you a reference. I look, I'm like, where's my, you have to you find your target yeah, exactly. again because it's so dark. How you're seeing this on the camera, but then if I move the camera away, you see what we see right now. Yep, there's the moon. There's that target. 
I bring the camera back up, now you can see all of this, including Matt here again. <laughs> so yeah. All right, man, let's climb this mountain and have some fun. Let's do it. So again, for you guys out there that do long range stuff, I completely understand like two, 275, 300 yards isn't long range. However, like the purpose for this rifle, like one of, the, one of the topics for the video is a patrol level DMR SPR. Uh, if you live in Vegas, then you're probably familiar with, or maybe you're not, our police department, Las Vegas Metro has a DMR program. So uh, guys on patrol go through an additional uh, rifle class which gets them set up with a rifle with a low power variable optic that would let them shoot out, you know, for those, you know, shots that are gonna be past 50, past 100. With a patrol rifle, I don't see myself, you know, doing anything that's not CQB, that's not inside a house. With this setup, you're able to, you know, from parking garages, set up for like active shooter type stuff, big sporting events, that's what it's kind of for. But, you know, in that kind of situation, yeah, 275, 300 yards is a far shot for something you'd be doing uh, here in a city environment. Anyway, we are in the process of filming this. We've had our second range session with it. Um, we will definitely be taking it out for one more because I do want to push it even further. Um, before I got into this stuff, I didn't realize that like 223, 556 could hit those distances, but it has been, um, and I think it's awesome. So yeah, but if you guys are into that stuff, if you guys have ammo recommendations, like I just went with Gorilla Ammo, that's all I could find is 77 grain. I'm trying to stay in that 75 to 77 Sierra match stuff uh, for our matches, but if any of you know a good place to get some or like have any suggestions about it, let me know down below in the comments. Um, other things, I, I went with this guy, Matt. He was over here Friday talking about guitars. Uh, I have a few of them laying around the house. You know, just like, this is like an Epiphone um, acoustic. I have like a Tac I have some like cheaper end guitars that I just play around with. But if you follow me on Instagram, you just might have saw that I did something this weekend. And by that something, yeah, I've always wanted a Martin, so I bought one. Um, it's an X-Series. So six string acoustic guitar. Um, guitar Center had them on sale for like 500 bucks. So I couldn't pass it up. And yeah, now I finally have my Martin. Um, this guy picked up a Fender acoustic, his first guitar. My first one, yeah. So he's pretty stoked about that. I was already playing away last night for a couple hours, getting back into it. But um, for you guys out there that are into guitars, uh, my favorite musician, one of my favorites, uh, Dallas Green, City and Color. He plays a Martin Dreadnought. Uh, like his guitar is like 1200 bucks. One day I'll be at that level, hopefully, to where at least I know what I'm doing with that uh, setup. But yeah, purchased that. Always wanted a Martin, so I treated myself. But uh, it is Monday. Like I said, I have been doing the photographs for this stuff. The crew's been out working in the shop. Um, and yeah, other than that, guys, I'm going to get back to it. He's going to get some editing done. I got a class to get to at 6 o'clock. But yeah, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. Also, if you're new to the channel, the codes that you're seeing throughout this video, they are one time, first person to use them, 20% discount codes um, to our website for custom holsters. So I get a lot of questions, emails about people hitting me up saying like, hey, I tried to use the code, but it didn't work. Yeah, if you, for those of you that are not new, you completely understand, like we do this once a week. We put these codes out so that you guys can hop on the website and pick up something. We normally put like five to 10 codes or 20% off. So definitely check those out, use it. Um, but yeah, and if you want to, if you, if you missed out this video on getting a code and you're trying to get one, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, or you can join our Patreon group, um, our Patreon supporters, they get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts, codes, giveaways, all that awesome stuff. And they are 100% the reason why we can, we can afford to make these videos. So thanks guys for checking out the video. As always, I will see you in the next one. Oh wow, I'm not wearing my... <laughs> I was like, I lost all my hearing. <laughs> I didn't realize.